now this is nice. A little bit of smooth jazz, an open drink, and another Steam Next Fest demo. This time for a little game called No Vacancy Tonight. I hope you're all firmly strapped in for a thrilling ride through Horror Game Town. It's probably going to be just as chill as this menu is. I foresee absolutely nothing bad happening, despite the fact that I just called it a horror game. Let's go. Huh? Uh, what time is it? I can't remember anything from last night. Where am I? Boy, this is not the brightest game I've ever seen. Um... Oh. Guess I can... Oh, hello. Remote. Let's turn off the TV. That is, uh... It doesn't work. It has no batteries. Oh, fuck me. Alright. Gotta find some batteries. Why does the remote have no... It's locked. Oh, please. Let me find some batteries. I'm already going nuts listening to that. Please. Batteries, please. Oh. Um. About here. No. Oh. Okay, I guess that's the thing I can do. What's this? Bathroom. I don't think there's any batteries in here. What's this then? Up. Oh, door's locked. Okay. What the? Well, that's a fine howdy do. How am I supposed to find to get anywhere then? I don't have any keys. Oh, that's that's frustrating. Okay. How am I gonna find some keys then? Uh boom, boom, boom. Oh, unnerving. 3:30 a.m. I don't know why I'm awake at this time. Ha! Scrub, get on my level. I'm awake at that time all the time. Because I am... a completely nocturnal idiot. What the hell happened here? That's disgusting. Okay, seriously, I need... Oh, hello, here's something. Oh? What code would that be? Nope. Well, that's annoying. Um, okay. So, gotta look around for a bit. How can we figure out... I can't leave. I have no batteries, I have no keys. This is a really garbage situation to be in. To be perfectly honest with ya. Okay, there's got to be something I can do. Can we shut that TV up, please? Can I open my bag? No. Oh, there's something. I remember something. Motel 86. A stop by place that... I would have liked to read the rest of that, but okay. Welcome to Motel 86. Located in the heart of the desert, our motel is the perfect choice for travelers looking to, for a comfortable and convenient place to stay while enjoying their trip. We offer a large... Oh, we offer a range of spacious and well-appointed guest rooms, all of which are equipped with everything you need for a relaxing and enjoyable stay, especially if you like the sound of droning static. Our guest rooms feature comfortable beds, plush linens, and a range of modern amenities, including free Wi-Fi. God damn it, I- <laughs> Sorry, I can't see the period, so I keep, like, enunciating this weirdly. Our guest rooms feature comfortable beds, plush linens, and a range of modern amenities, including free Wi-Fi. Your room also has its own private bathroom with shower, sink, and toilets. In addition to our comfortable guest rooms, we also offer a range of amenities and services to make your stay even more enjoyable. Our friendly and helpful staff are always on hand to assist you with any questions or needs you may have. Our on-site restaurant serves a delicious selection of breakfast, lunch and dinner options. And our outdoor pool is the perfect place to cool off on a hot summer day. We also organize parties during August. But only during August. Don't you even fucking think about coming here on any other month than August. You absolute... Horrendous goblin of a person. 
Okay, seriously, what the fuck do I do? Um, was there a key under one of the pillows, by any chance? No? Shit. Um... Am I really just completely blind? I see no keys or... Anything anywhere. Oh! 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 I just need to break that, apparently. Alright, pop in the batteries. Now shut the fuck up, please. Oh! Wait, oh! Blue, yellow... Pink... Static. Red. Hold on. So, is the static... I'm gonna assume static is the base, so... Red... Blue... Yellow... Pink. Red, blue, yellow, pink. Right on. Uh, that was here. Okay, so... Red... Blue... Yellow... Fuck! Red, blue, yellow, pink. There we go. What's this? Uh-huh. Oh! You found a photo from the motel's collectible album. You'll see the photos in the pause menu. Alright, key acquired. Finally, some stuff can happen. Um... This one. Key card. Nice. So I guess now I can leave. Get me the fuck out of here. Thank you. Oh. We sure this is a motel? It's more like the Overlook. Oh, those are some delightful pictures, aren't they? Uh-huh, that's unsettling. Oh, wait. Let's go back to room... My room is room what? There's no... Oh! I hear a phone. Ew, these pictures are so upsetting. Why are they here? Okay, where's this phone noise coming from? All these paintings are terrible. Why? Why do you have these? Oh. That's interesting. Close alteration service. Please leave here the clothes you want to alter. Prices. Uh, okay. That might be relevant later. Where's this phone I'm hearing? Oh, that's... Oh. That's Slenderman. <laughs> okay, phone. Phone, 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 phone. Where you at? Why such an old-fashioned telephone if, if they have Wi-Fi? Ah, whatever. What? To me. I'm locked in the basement. I can't go out. I need help. Please, please, can't get me. And above all, stay alert on the corridor. You are in serious danger. It is out there. The key to the basement is in the reception safe. The code is on the desk. I don't have much time. The phone is breaking up. Please stay that off. Okay. Please stay out of what? The basement? Can do. <laughs> okay. And what does this button do? Is that an alarm? Okay, um... Oh! Rose, I've changed all the codes of the motel. Someone has been messing around with some devices. I'll leave you clues to the correct codes that you only you will understand. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Strange opening. There's a hole to put something inside. And there's a button there I don't know what does. I thought that was a key, but that's an ashtray. Okay, time to go exploring, I guess. Wednesday, August parties. August 3rd, August 10th, uh, yep, sure enough. Door's locked. Oh. Oh, those are stairs, okay. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to go away. Why are all the pictures here so stupid creepy? Like, what kind of motel is this? Is there anything here? Oh, hello. 
Once upon a time, there were two feuding families, the Hilbert family and the Herod family. Both were very similar, as both families had eight members, and each family had the same number of members with blue and black eyes. One day, the Hilbert family went to a concert, and they lined up in two rows, so that a person with blue eyes would not have a person of, of the same color in front or next to them. The line on the left was headed by Rachel, who had black eyes. While they were standing in line, the Herod family arrived, and they also stood in two different rows. Not wanting to look alike, they stood completely opposite the Hilbert family. They spent so much time looking at each other that the concert was already over. What a weird story. Uh, don't kill our wildlife. Thank you, I'll try. Visit the zoo. Fire. Lots of interesting posters here. Okay, don't know what that was about. So should I? I'm gonna go backwards a bit and inspect all this crap. Can't go in the sewing room, but I can look into it. Looks weird. Let's just try as many doors and stuff as I can. Doors locked. I didn't really get to go to the very end of this hall. What is this picture? Jeez. That's my room. Yeah, never mind that. Okay. Is there anything to be found in this hallway? Aside from increasingly creepy paintings. Why are they all of like people hiding behind something? I don't like that at all. Okay, there's nothing to see here. So I guess we go back and go up the stairs because uh, that's where a thing happened. And as we all know in horror games, go towards where the creepy thing happened. It never backfires. Right then. Up here we go. Uh, they all have slightly too happy faces. Not a fan of that. Okay. Uh-huh. Can't go there. God, I can't go much- Ugh! Why? A creepy mannequin. Is it gonna move? I don't want it to move. Not because it'll scare me, but because I've seen that trick being done so many times by now. Alright, there's fuck all up here. Oh. Oh, I got a map. Oh. And a key. I don't know what that key opens, but... Not that one. Okay. Now that. This maybe? Nope. Maybe this? Yes! Okay. So... Dining area. Oh. What the hell? Oh, okay. I thought I thought there were like legs sticking out of the ceiling. <laughs> Cash register. Wrong order, table 12. Hmm. Guess we'll look into that in a bit. I can't go in the kitchen, apparently. Alright. Oh. That's, that's a corpse. Oh my god. Is he dead? Is this a... Is this just a dance floor? I guess so. Nope. Something outside is blocking it. Interesting. Alright, so which table is table 12, I wonder? Can I... No. The food looks not spoiled, surprisingly. What's that? It's probably just a salt shaker. It just looked like an item I could pick up for a second. Oh, hello. Wednesday, August 24th. Since we came last Saturday, everything seems normal here. Ryan insists on leaving and searching for other motels of this area, but I would like to stay a little longer. Also, it seems once a week of August, the staff organize a party with free food and drinks and good music. I think it's today. I better check the schedule. They are very punctual. Roy has been acting weird to me. I don't want to be pretentious, but could it be possible that he likes me? Anyway, I hope he never takes a look at, his diary, at this diary. He seems fun. I, I don't know. He's talking timidly to the staff because he doesn't have a bathroom in his room, and he wants the keys of the public restrooms, but somehow they got stuck inside the jukebox. 
Wait, weren't they bragging about the fact that everyone gets bathrooms? Uh, breakfast, 7.15 a.m. Lunch, 12.30 p.m. Dinner, 7.15. Okay. Let's get upstairs. Oh, can I not? Oh, there we go. So how do I know what table... What's table 12? I don't see any numbers on the tables. Hmm. Oh, here's something. What's that supposed to... Whoop! Ew. I don't want to look at that while I eat. Huh. I don't know what those buttons do. Mm-hmm. There's something about a table having a wrong order. Uh-huh. So did pressing these buttons do anything, or...? Okay, what if I press the left button and I look around? Oh, it changes the clock. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Seems to change the clock. Yeah, okay. So, let me see, let me see, let me see. Breakfast, 7.15. So let's try setting it to 7.15. Um, right now it's 6.40. So... Okay. So the one on the left moves the hour hand. And this one on the right moves the minute hand. So, one, two, three. 7.15. Does that do anything? Uh, better check the schedule. 7.15. Wait, I already did that. Hmm. Okay. So fixing the clock one way or the other didn't work. Maybe, maybe what I'm looking for is the party times. Uh, August... 3rd, August 10th, August 17th. Okay, hold on. They're different times, too. Weird. There's the note. August 24th. So let's see. August 24th. 8.45. Let's try that instead. They're very punctual. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight. Eight forty-five. One, two, three. Yes, that changed something. The corpse is gone. I don't love that. Where did the corpse go? Oh! Oh, there he is! Oh, that was it? Oh! I was kind of hoping for a little more from this demo, to be perfectly honest. But I'm liking this so far. I like the uh, I like the vibe of the place. Except for some of the paintings being a little weird. But I guess that's the point. Jesus, this music. It certainly seems... different. Like, most of the time when I see a game that takes place in a, like, a motel, it's always, like, really ragged and run down and abandoned, but... This... I don't know, something about this one is different. And I'm curious as to why that is. So, yeah, no vacancy tonight. I like that one. Very fun. Thanks for watching.